Hi, Keith here. Welcome to our summer art series. Today we're doing Baby Yoda. Visit my website to download the drawing guide and we can get started. So I'm going to go ahead and draw this. I'm using a number two pencil. Uh, I'm going to be drawing a little bit darker than I normally would just so that you can see it. Uh, I recommend though when you are you know sketching out your work try to keep it on a lighter side so you don't end up um, you know with a very uh, where you have to do a lot of erasing um, anyway so to start with um, baby Yoda's head is kind of rounder on the top and a little um, a little um, flatter on the bottom uh, and then I'm going to add nice long ears I hope I made them tall enough or high enough up that I can get them all in but if not I'm just losing a little bit of the bottom okay so I got some ears shrink that up a little bit I'm gonna add uh, my guidelines now his eyes should be right in the middle of his head and they are fairly large okay so I've given myself a couple guidelines here his little nose is right on the second of that uh, uh, of the guidelines and these things are huge Okay, so what I'm going to do now is create his kind of the collar for his uh, costume. Comes under both ears. I am going to bring this down a little bit more. Okay, now, like I said, I, I'm trying to make this dark enough you can see, and yet I don't have to work too hard. So at this point, I'm going to get rid of this guideline, because I have my eyes in. That sounds terrible. All right. But I'm going to leave the center guideline only because I'm going to need it um, for his uh, little head wrinkles and stuff. So we're going to leave that as is, okay? So um, I think at this point I'm going to go ahead and just get the rest of his little cloth uniform on here. So just a couple arms. They come down. Go ahead and clean that off. And what else we got here? Like a little, yeah. A little here and a little there. Okay. So I've got pretty much everything in. He has like a little inner collar here, too. So there. All right. So at this point, I'm going to start working on detail a little bit, okay? So um, let's start on his ears. Okay, I think I might take this down just a hair. 
There we go. All right. Now, I'm going to go ahead and... His mouth is kind of fun. It, it kind of comes down and then goes back up again. And then he has the little lower lip and then he's got these kind of like little cheeks there um, of which he starts to has these little kind of wrinkles on him okay and we'll stop there for a second on that um, and then under here he's got this nice little chin and it just kind of his chubby cheeks kind of come around and then comes down a little bit okay now what we're gonna do his eyes his eyes are literally the pupils are huge This is the black part of his eyes. So. We're going to add a highlight. So the rest of his eye is literally the... What's the other part? Um, not the pupil, the, the iris. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead, let me kind of darken one up for you, finish an eye here. So I'm just going to go ahead and fill this in, fill in the pupil, get it nice and dark. Okay, now the other part of the eye, we're just going to kind of softly, maybe a little bit darker on the top. Okay, okay. And then a little bit, a little bit softer on the bottom, with little lines that kind of go around. Okay. Oh. But for sure, it's all got to be kind of filled in, nice and, nice and deep. Okay. Now I'm going to shadow under his neck a little bit here, just so we can kind of see that chin line. I'm going to go ahead and do this again. So again, I'm going to fill in the pupil. And the dark, along the top, it can be probably just as dark as the pupil. So you're about halfway. And again, we're just going to bring some little bitty lines down. Okay, now, hmm, fresh pencil. My lead was getting a little short on that one. All right, so again, like I said, I'm doing this very dark just to so you can see it. I would not usually work quite this dark. I do like getting the shadow in sometimes, just so I can 
kind of three-dimensionalize it out a little bit so I can see it just a little bit better. Okay. Now, okay, how did, so he kind of has a ridge along the top of his eyes. We're just going to softly kind of fill that in. But now, this is where I use my center line. Okay, we got that. Where am I? Okay, so we're just going to kind of put these little ridges in that he has along his nose. And along his head. Now, I'm just going to tell you, I never make mistakes, so don't look at my eraser. All right. Then we got another. And whatever you do to one side, you just do to the other side. You create these little ridges that are his head. And then basically what we're going to do is just kind of follow these lines along the top of his head a little bit. Okay. And then as we do this, we're going to do two or three of these. As we do them, they're going to get a little closer and a little closer to each other. But not by much, okay? So we got that. All right, so at this point, I'm going to split his little cloth covering around his front there. I'm going to fill this in a little bit. So I'm just kind of finishing out the clothing, giving it the collars and the lapels, no, <laughs> the sleeves. All right. Okay. Kind of filling in a little bit of shadow here and there. All right, what else? Oh, little baby Yoda fingers. They have little claws on them.
All right. Like I said, slightly rushed, but pretty close. I would fuss and clean it up. But, I don't know if you've ever watched them cooking shows where they take the meal that they've started and what we're gonna do is we're going to set this in an oven and bake it at 375 for a half hour. And hopefully, Where's the other one? There he is. I need that phone. Ta-da! This is uh, the version I completed. Took my time. Uh, I used reticulation, which is a dot method for shadowing. And uh, it's a very slow process and very 1970s. But uh, I do enjoy doing it. They're a lot of fun. Um, basically, all you have to do is find your super fine point. And take your time and just start filling in your dots. Can't see what you're doing. Probably not. But the more dots you put in, the darker it gets. So the closer they are, the darker it gets. But this was a lot of fun. I really enjoyed doing this guy. Um, so, like I said, take your time. Go a little quicker than I did. Um, no, I mean, go a little slower than I did. Um, this will give you a, a, a pretty good idea. You can do it in pencil. You can do it in inks. At this point, then, let me just say uh, that I'm finished. Hey, thanks for watching. Please subscribe to my channel and check out rkmcguire.com.